Yes. Today is the day. You play Jack and Dex. The three games they've made. Oh my god. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. I'm sorry, but Dexter is so fucking ugly. Oh my god. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Better than he okay. did before. What okay. the hell? Getting too I'm fine. In front of his, uh... I'm fine. Sorry, I'm all talking in the question. But damn, yeah, but well, yeah, two, two teeth in the front of his mouth, and nothing else. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then And Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, so I right. couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. 
None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> Get in there, before I turn you both into ferns! Let's get it, man, let's get it. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. <laughs> These floating ATVs are precursor oh orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Dang, bro. But this camera, um, looks like inverted. It's kind of hard to get around. This is a power cell. The oh, most sure important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. And once again, I'll try not to talk during the cutscenes because I always hate stuff like that. <clears throat> try to watch the movie and someone keep talking. Oh my god. Me. That's Blue oh. Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Yeah, I thought my controller was messed up. Trying to explain the thing about it. It was trying to be that one. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can yeah. use its power. We're not gonna call it that though, we're gonna call it crack. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. It's over there. Alright, we're gonna get some more crack right quick. It's a lot of it too. Well, why is it? Oh, vent. Okay. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. This ain't that enough bug track. See how fast I was moving? Blue eco. Uh, Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, that. you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have made dormant for years. Hey, okay, 
Okay. Those little green that? balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Mm -hmm. Health. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I played Jack 2 before, but I never played this one. Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. I be trying to talk to y'all, but bruh. Don't even let me say must keep talking. But yeah, I played Jack 2. 2 and 3, but I didn't play 1. I had 1, but it was on like... Y'all know how like... It was two types of PlayStation, the PlayStation ones. Like it was a gray one and a black one, a black one, a black one. And one was only compatible with the other, and I had a, a gray PlayStation one, and it wasn't compatible at all. Oh, sorry, bro. I'm like, dang. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear the lava. Oh, look, the shit on his head. Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. <laughs> you talking to us no. like we slow as hell. All of you, get out of here! It's a big ass Venus fly trap you had. Isn't it? Hey, baby, what do you say you and I go cruising on this A grab zoomer? Rule number one: I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> this game is not for kids. Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Mm. Yes. Jack is gonna get some of her before the game is over. She doesn't know it yet. But it, it's gonna happen. Oh my god. Let's walk in these houses and see if we can find some of the little, uh, yep, or in the lake. It looks like scam flies are always in red boxes. Oh. Well, he should have figured that out. Oh, wait, wait, I hear another one. He should have figured that out when we were training, though. I wasn't paying attention. Let me talk to Bro real quick. Don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? Mm -hmm. That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. That's hella. How many we got now? 44 oh, I'm just trying to Yeah, I'm just trying to get out of me Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy 
You've caught me at a most inopportune moment, sir. I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, <laughs> might oh have just God. No, he was ugly. See, everybody's fun. saying it. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Bro, how am I supposed to. What's this? Man, you will. There's another one, isn't Yeah, it's not hard to play in the inverted, um, looking left and right or whatever, but you just gotta keep playing. Hey! Eventually get used to it. Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. How does she get there? Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? Yes, we are. I can't see. I'm gonna turn my camera. Yes, sir, give me that track. Oh, so that would be just oh, no. Don't stop me. Hey, I could have got Pelican just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Oh my god. Those all metal boxes are thicker right. than a yak ass skull. But there must be something that can bust them open. Oh, these are they are bust them open. Uh, little bags of gunpowder or whatever. Oh my god. Two at a time, please. Yes, sir. Oh my god, he's getting. Can you reach all the way? It has to, bro. They wouldn't put this over here. Oh yes. It's a cannon up there. With nobody on it. Yeah. 
We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's yes, get sir. back and the yes, switch Yes, sir. Oh. 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 No, I can make it, I can make it. Yes, sir. Good job. Now beat me down here by the egg. I oh to my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's We're out here squeaking. Sorry, that's not sure. I need to get a new one. <laughs> Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. It's oh. a big ass bird. Listen, mom. boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Yes, sir. Save it on my memory card. I don't got one though. I thought he was just staring at you, bro. <laughs> you know what, bro? If, I'm not about to hit these, but. You can always have. I'm not about to keep hitting this green thing when I got full health. I'm not getting anything else. It is a dick thing, though. <laughs> Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again. Well, this is being basically the same. Right? It is not I mean, older. Yeah. 
Do that! Hey, stop playing with me, Pelican. There's no way. Spitting out like bro, you despise me, man. So one time I was sitting down, and my phone was on my lap. Got up, my phone said "drop" on the floor, shattered, done. He having too much fun. There's no way that caused it, them flying by. Wow! They caused an avalanche! Let's check it out! Oh, did you punch me from the road? Oh, no. Punch those poles up from below! He's gonna tell me now, he could have said that one little bubble. Oh my god. Oh, 
Yeah, there's no one shooting that cannon. This is shooting by itself. That nothing. How do I do with that? Oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know how you get up there, so we're gonna leave it. Leave it. Everything. Alright. The one that we're missing is up there that we can't get to. Nah, we'll do the mayor when we go to the uh, second one. Okay. What? Come on. Okay. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Yes, yes. Now, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.